Anyone anti-participation grade? I'm curious because I want to hear both sides. Paul Newhouse is poised to discuss a tale of government corruption. The irony here is the people that don't talk. But first, the UC San Diego associate professor has to engage his graduate economics students. On behalf of all introverts, <laughs> this is the moment to speak. <laughs> Newhouse has been recognized for his own analytics. In 2013, Foreign Policy magazine named him and the three other co-founders of GiveDirectly and its list of 100 leading global thinkers. What I've always been motivated by is the idea of tackling like the grand challenges of our time. Right? What are the biggest problems facing the human race on this planet? And you know, I think that right up there with, with climate change, global poverty is obviously one of the big ones. Give Directly is what the name implies. People donate money online to the New York-based charity. Operators estimate 85 to 91 percent goes directly to people living in extreme poverty in East Africa. If you're thinking that sounds crazy, uh, you're right. I mean, it's crazy that that hasn't existed. It seems so obvious. Give Directly recipients on average live on about 65 cents a day. Giving up that latte, giving up a, you know, a coffee or a dinner out, something that doesn't really make a big impact in my life, can have a huge impact on the life of someone in Africa. Give Directly uses data, old-fashioned door-to-door visits, and physical indicators of poverty, such as thatched roofs and mud walls. If you can afford it, you really want to have a metal roof. Um, if you're really poor, then you have the thatch roof. Um, it turns out it's also one of the most popular things that people do with the money. Families receive a one-time grant of about $1,000 or one year's salary. The money is transferred via mobile money system, where cell phone use is more prevalent than clean water. This is about instead of us as donors and aid workers having the power and deciding what happens, it's the poor having that power to decide for themselves. These grants are unconditional. One recipient used part of his money to buy instruments to start a band. He sang all about it. Hey, give direct. It's well good organization in Kenya. And there's Margaret. She says before the Give Directly transfer, she worked in other people's farms to feed her children. How does that feel when you get that feedback from people that are, are being helped and realizing that this is not just like a, a theory on a, a piece of paper, this is actually impacting real people in a real way? I, I, yeah, it's, it feels great. I think you got to do it and tell, try it and tell me how it feels to you. Um, we have a lot of people who have kids that literally are not eating, and so they're just feeding their kids um, and not going through that stressful decision of like which kid gets to eat tonight. GiveWell is a nonprofit that conducts in-depth analysis of charities. It named Give Directly one of its top-rated charities in 2016. Still, GiveWell analysts suggest transferring grants to every family in these impoverished villages, rather than only the poorest, would save time and reduce potential conflict. What happens when you know that for the next decade uh, you're taken care of financially? Give Directly is raising millions of dollars to test it out with its basic income experiment. Every adult in a Kenyan village will receive about 75 cents a day for years. Backers say it will be the largest experiment ever. We think it's a fascinating debate. We do think that cash transfers should be playing a bigger role, and basic income is one form of cash transfers. Uh, we also think there hasn't been enough of that rigorous testing yet. Since going public in 2011, Give Directly has enrolled more than 80,000 families, committing $70 million to people in Kenya. Uganda, and Rwanda. Recipients call a hotline to give status updates, which Give Directly makes public. Here's a woman who has an alcoholic husband that she deals with. But the point about this is that you can go through this and find some pretty raw stuff, right? Like, I don't think most charities would let you see what poor people have to say about alcohol. GD Live is in line with Give Directly's transparency goals and vision to reshape international giving. The reality is the whole system is built on the idea that we have to decide for poor people what they should get. And you got to question that, right? Like it's not obvious that the model like poor people get what over donors think sounds cool is a good way to make decisions. Um, and so we're trying to push that. We're saying, you know, in many cases, poor people could probably make those decisions themselves and it would be much more efficient. Technology makes it possible. Give Directly estimates it costs nine cents for every dollar sent and says research shows it works. A randomized controlled trial found no evidence of widespread abuse of funds. 
you know, at the end of the day, it should be grounded in data and not in our own prejudices, stereotypes, fears. It's an example for the next class of development economists critically questioning how to improve lives. Ebony Monet, KPBS News.